everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all having an awesome Monday. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. Today I have another set from that recent bulk lot purchase of Vintage Town Lego. Set 6389, the Fire Control Center from 1990. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. So here we have the completed build, and I'm really excited about this set because this is my first ever fire station, and I think it's really awesome to have such a classic set be my first fire station. This set is now over 30 years old, which is pretty impressive, and it's around 500 pieces and does come with four minifigures. So I'll show you the minifigures first. Really classic fireman minifigures. They all have the same torso. So we've got just like a really classic one with a helmet here. And then one with a different style helmet, which I assume will be the one piloting the helicopter. And then it comes with two of this one, which just has like the regular standard male hair. So four really great classic traditional fireman minifigures. And it does give you enough to have one for each vehicle as well as one to remain back in the kind of control center of the station. This has a few 
really cool vehicles, the standard four stud vehicles. So here in the front, got that really nice fire logo that's used in a lot of sets around this time. Does come with a nozzle hose piece here in the back on a string. So, you know, you can put your fire out with that. So a little, great little vehicle there. And we've got another larger fire truck. This is a really interesting build. It doesn't look to me like a classic kind of fire truck. It's a little more angular, which is very different. I've never seen a vehicle like this before. I personally don't think it looks super a lot like a fire truck. Maybe in the 90s, I don't know. I don't remember them ever looking like this. But other than the fact that I don't feel it really looks like a fire truck, it's a really cool build. This particular build did take a while. The vehicles are pretty intricate, I think. And so actually, I think it took me longer to build all of the vehicles than it did to build the building itself. So this has some movable parts to it. You can obviously open kind of the cockpit area there in the front to put your minifigure inside. Then the top opens. And there is another hose piece inside so that, you know, you can put your fire out with that. So kind of the same piece that was on the back end of that other little vehicle. So that opens up. And then there are shutters on this side that open up. I like the use of that. That's kind of different. And inside there is an air tank. So a nice little storage compartment there. And there are doors on both sides. So the shutters on one side, doors on the other. Just gives you more area to work on that side. And then I assume this is supposed to also mimic some kind of like water shooting cannon sort of feature there. Assume, don't know for sure. But a really unique looking build, very different. It almost looks like a like a trash truck sort of in a way in design to me, but I really like it. It's very different. And like I said, the vehicles they put a lot of effort into. There are a lot of like hidden features and decorative elements, which I don't feel is super traditional of a lot of classic town sets. They tend to be pretty basic, so that's kind of nice because it's a little bit more intricate, a little more detailed. So I like the fact that this one took a little bit longer to build because they added some extra decorative elements. So in the back here, we do have a helicopter, like I said. Really nice little helicopter build. I like the use of these hose pieces on the sides. I assume that's supposed to also be some sort of way to put out fire. Don't know 100%, but Really nice addition either way. I find those hose pieces to be very classic of earlier Lego. I really like that piece. I'm kind of bummed they don't really use it anymore, but in really good condition. So I'm super excited about that because those tend to yellow or, you know, get brittle as time goes. So still in great shape. So super pumped about that. They've got a nice helipad design here in the back for your helicopter to land on. I like the use of these fence pieces in the front. Those aren't in a ton of sets. They weren't used or produced for very long. So I like the use of those because they're kind of unique and different. Up here in the back, we have a great fire station logo. That's really classic. I love that piece. Got some nice decorative elements. You know, like a little light beam here in the front, a radar dish. So they've done a nice job of decorating. I like the use of the different color garage doors. So using the red and white at the bottom was kind of a nice change so that the whole garage door is not the same color. And garage doors, like I've said in previous videos, those are some of my favorite elements Lego has ever produced. I've got a little phone outside here and a little bottle of something down there in the front as well. There's an additional hose here in the back. So I don't know if that's to fill up your truck before you leave. I'm gonna assume that's what they're using it for. 
Got some tools here in the back, so a shovel and a hatchet, extra air tank back behind that hose. So lots of little elements scattered throughout the main floor there. Here in the back, I love the design they did for this little water fountain. I think that's great. You know, you can turn it on and off with the little handle there. A little, just a little one by one translucent clear brick. So I like that. That's very simple, but I might use that design for some other things because I just think that's a really nice little water fountain. And then we've got a couple of slopes in the back with some patterns on them. So some control tower patterns there in the back. So like I said, I think they did a really nice job of adding some extra decorative elements in this one. I guess, you know, this is a little bit newer than the previous sets that I posted from this lot. So this one was 1990. A lot of the other ones were from the mid 80s. So I don't know if it was just a stylistic change from, you know, even that short of a time where now they were doing a little bit more decorative elements. But I am so excited to have this set in my collection now, especially since I've not had a fire station before. It's a nice addition to my collection and will really round out my town layout when I get through designing that. So I did look this set up and a complete set of this one I think was starting around $60, which I actually did not think was, you know, too terribly expensive considering this set is 30 years old and is over 500 pieces. So that's a lot of pieces for a set from this era. So I actually thought 60 plus dollars wasn't too bad. So I definitely recommend checking this set out, particularly if you don't already have a fire station in your town. It's a really cool one. It's got a lot of playability to it. So I highly recommend looking into this set if you need to add a fire station to your city layout. For watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. See you next time. If you'd like a Big Brick Energy t-shirt like the one I'm wearing, go to my webpage link in the description and click the merch button.